If you took every grain of, of rice. rice on Earth to make a giant Rice Krispies <laughs> treat, how big would it be? So we're designing a sugar-coated reactor core at this point, all right? Well, there's around 32 quadrillion grains of rice <laughs> in the world today. So that sounds like a big number, and it is. That's about 30 million metric tons, or about one quarter the mass of all the uranium that's been mined. But not, let's rewrite physics big. So you would need to dump it into a bowl the size of the Loch Ness Lake, adding oh, enough wow. marshmallows. Okay, that's actually overkill. Loch Ness holds over 7 cubic kilometers of water. This rice is less than 0.1 cubic kilometers. So this would be like putting your reactor pressure vessel in the Grand Canyon. You generally don't need containment volumes three orders of magnitude too big, unless you're the Galactic Empire. Close ...and melted butter to fill 3,900 <laughs> cargo ships. And that's more marshmallow mass than the rice itself. So this is going to be the largest sticky mass hazard. So a marshmallow moderated reactor, which sounds delicious, but violates every thermodynamic principle known to man. Stirring it with the Golden Gate Bridge as a spatula. You and now I'm going to use a control rod as a chopstick. I mean, the bridge is going to fail due to sheer forces, but okay. You're going to need some kind of super heavy robotic manipulator from a fusion tokamax facility to deal with all that stickiness. Have to bake it with space mirrors on a oh, tray large enough to cover most of Beverly Hills. So you're not going to get that much from space. You're going to need multiple nuclear reactors worth of power for this. And this tray is going to have the same thermal management issues as a reactor containment dome experiencing a severe steam surge. Not to mention it's going to buckle under its own thermal expansion. You're going to need to build this dessert tray with something that requires nuclear grade certification. And when it's finally done cooking and lifted into the air, Using what? Okay, I guess the same magical crane that you use to lift the Golden Gate Bridge. Most cranes I'm aware of top out when you get to the thousands of ton range, not tens of millions of tons. You would get a single Rice Krispies treat taller than Mount Fuji. No way. Not even close. This thing isn't that heavy. If perfectly packed, the treat's gonna be a couple hundred meters tall. A skyscraper, not a stratovolcano. 